Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Oh my goodness, it is a crazy day. It's like a three or four upload kind of day. We just have constant craziness going on with the test server and the Yoella fusion and the new champions uh, that pair or the new champion that pairs with Oella. And then we also get this cryptic tweet coming out from Plarium a couple hours ago where it is flying through a bunch of different images. So what I'm going to do is slow this down and be able to show you each individual image that is in this tweet. And then we can talk about what we think some of this stuff means for the future of raid and everything going on. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so when I slowed this down and went through it, was able to get nine different images and let's go through them one by one and talk about what they mean. So first up, we've got your clan will win the next CVC tournament. Um, now they do call them at CVC tournaments, I believe. Uh, so this may not mean anything. Some of these are just like random inspirational messages that don't really mean anything other than like, you're going to have a good day kind of thing. So, uh, we may see like CVC tournaments that feature more than two teams or something, but all in all, that doesn't really seem to mean a whole lot. Uh, the next one you'll place at the top of several tournament leaderboards. Uh, again, okay, t several tournament leaderboards, maybe like new kinds of tournaments, They're like maybe Minotaur tournaments or, or some sort of weird new tournament events that they are going to be trying to feature in the game. Then the third one is you'll set a personal clan boss damage record. Um, maybe they plan on adding new mechanics to the game that will help us crank out more clan boss damage. Now, there is two different clan bosses. There is the Demon Lord and the Hydra. Uh, there is also a third area on that clan boss map, so that could mean something as well. As you can see, if we pop on into the clan bosses tab, there is a section over here that is locked over to the right. You've got the demon lord over here in the left, the hydra in the middle, and then this new section over here next to an area called the great void. So is that something that they're talking about uh, in this cryptic message? I don't know, I guess to be determined. Uh, but anyway, that one says you'll get a new personal clan boss and damage record. Then the fourth one, you'll summon the uh, you'll summon exactly the champion at soul you need the most. Maybe they'll be thinking about add like they already have a wish list when it comes to the, the the souls and the blessings and stuff like that. But maybe they'll add a mechanic to actually choose one, uh, or this could be just a random inspirational message. But then this next one here in the middle, I think this one is really one of the ones that is worth taking note of. The Great Hall will be reworked and expanded this year. So that's two different things, reworked and expanded. So uh, for people like me that have their Great Hall maxed out, as you can see right here, I'm approaching two years since I hit the uh, the max development level of 240. So they are saying that they are going to be expanding it. And I don't know exactly what a rework would mean. Uh, maybe they'll add a new stat to it, like crit rate. That would be pretty hype. Uh, and they'll also be expanding it maybe to feature more levels. And maybe you'll be able to go above level 10. Or there'll be some sort of other bonus that you can upgrade. But either way, that is going to be a big source of of speculation within the raid community for the upcoming days, weeks, months, whatever, until we get a little bit more clarification on this great hall uh, little tile here. Then the next one is you'll place at the top of several tournament leaderboards. Okay, it's kind of similar to this one over here. Uh, or, oh wait, actually, I just put the same one twice. Okay, so never mind. Editor, can you go ahead and clip that out for me, please, so I don't look stupid? Oh, or wait, I, I don't have an editor. Okay, well, never mind. Anyway, uh, forgive me, please. Uh, the Hydra will fall before your mighty champions. The Hydra will fall before your mighty champions. Okay, maybe we'll be getting some sort of mechanic that helps us out with the Hydra, uh, or it could just be a random inspirational message. Uh, now, I think this next one is another one that is pretty crazy to pay attention to. We have got your rise to the top of live arena live arena so a lot of times in games like these they call this rta which is real time arena so this will be like where you actually face an opponent that is live playing their team on manual 
while you also play your team on manual and it's I don't, I don't know you alternate or you choose which ability or whatever we'll have to see how they implement a live arena but that's pretty crazy so so far the most important things are great hall will be reworked and expanded and that there is going to be a live arena then uh, the last one that we've got here is you'll summon the legendary champion you always dreamed of again could just be a random message or could be some sort of new mechanic where you could like maybe uh, I, I think it'd be kind of cool if they had a mechanic in the game like during 10x events or something where when you summon a legendary it pulls up like three champions and you and you get to choose which one you want of those three or when they do like bonus Lego events let's say you pull a legendary and you pull you know a, a random like, like long beard or something the bonus legendary it'll pull up like three choices and then you get it, it'll pull up like duchess nodgar and uh and prince kaimar and you can pick which one of those three that you want uh, i think a mechanic like that would be really cool so uh it could be again could be something interesting or it could just be a random throwaway message but yeah all in all i think this is pretty big news i, I think this is pretty crazy uh the, you know these two right here the great hall being reworked and expanded and the confirmation of rta live arena coming to raid they have famously uh called 2023 the year of pvp they've kind of been getting dunked on and memed on about calling it the year of pvp and different things that have come out uh you know that players aren't happy about so we'll have to see if this actually holds true and you know those two things would go in line with the year of pvp rhetoric because the great hall revolves around the arena and obviously the arena getting a live version would revolve around pvp so definitely makes sense with some of the rhetoric we have got from polarium so obviously it makes sense uh, given some of the rhetoric that we have gotten from Polarium. But let me know how you feel about the speculation down below. What would you like to see? What kind of reworks would make sense in the Great Hall? Uh, you know, crit rate is a tough one. I don't like I, I think we all would unanimously agree that we would want crit rate added to the Great Hall. I don't know if they would do that because it could shake up the meta of gear grinding and how important uh, you know certain stats are on different gear. Because then all of a sudden crit rate gloves would be uh, would be a lot lot less desirable compared to crit damage gloves which is already kind of the case in the end game but uh we could see different things uh different blessing type mechanics uh you, you, uh, you differently they could add speed to the great hall uh you know speed crit rate there's all sorts of different things they could throw in here that would make the great hall a little bit more hype and, and all that but let me know like i said uh down below what you would like to see and what you think some of this stuff means as well so as always i appreciate you and remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily raid shadow legends content thanks for watching i'll see you soon in the next video peace